another toasty day here in the Treasure Valley, but it sounds like we're going to cool down. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be a nice cool down before we start to see temperatures warm up into the 80s. So enjoy tomorrow while you can because tomorrow is going to be the last day that we are actually in the 70s for quite some time. Take a look at the live shot over downtown Boise. We are seeing nice clear skies covering much of the Treasure Valley. Tomorrow morning that could change. We may see a little bit more cloud coverage in the morning before we see lots of sunshine by the afternoon again. A cold front is going to move into our region by tomorrow morning. Again, dropping temperatures into the 70s. Accompanying that cold front is also going to be some gusty winds. We could see wind gusts up to anywhere between 20 and 30 miles an hour. But then from there, we're going to start to see a warming trend and it's going to start to feel a lot more like summer. Temperatures right now are on the warm side, especially in the south. We're seeing temperatures in the triple digits near Phoenix in the 90s over in Texas. But we still remain nice and relatively cool over in Boise where we're sitting at 82 degrees. Satellite and radar showing nice clear skies covering the state right now. But we do have this little system developing right over here in the Pacific Northwest. It's going to make its way into the Idaho tomorrow, bringing some showers up into our mountains, some gusty winds into our region, and overall cooler temps across much of the state. Futurecast showing that same thing. You can see that system kind of making its way on through. We're going to see it kind of just remaining up in the north. We're going to remain nice and dry down here in the south. Fast forward into Saturday, we're going to see nice clear skies, and we're going to be nice and sunny and clear for the next five to seven days. High today so far of 87 degrees, low of 62. I do expect that we're going to get slightly warmer, maybe bump it up to about 89 degrees. Normally we're sitting at 84, so we are going to be well below that tomorrow and sunset tonight at 930. Right now we are seeing temperatures in the upper 80s in the Treasure Valley, 90 degrees over in Mountain Home and a nice cool 75 degrees over in McCall. Temperature trends, we're going to drop down back to 74 degrees tomorrow, heat on up to 81 by Saturday, 91 degrees by Sunday, and we're going to start the temperatures in the mid-90s for the rest of the week. Regional forecast for tomorrow, sunny, but we do have a wind advisory in place near Burley. High of 71 degrees tomorrow, those overnight lows dipping into the 50s. Up near Sun Valley, we're going to see highs in the mid-60s, overnight lows dipping into the 40s. Near McCall, they had that chance of showers. In the afternoon, gusty winds are going to accompany that system. And as we make our way back down south into Payette, Canyon County, and even Ada County, we're going to see lots of sunshine, but... We are going to see those gusty winds anywhere between 9 in the morning and 9 at night. Tomorrow, high of 74 degrees, those overnight lows dipping into the mid-50s. Very windy tomorrow, but sunny nonetheless. And then we're going to see temperatures heat all the way up into the mid-90s by the end of the week. Lots of sunshine this week. Overnight lows are going to be pretty mild. We're going to be in the 50s and then toward the 60s toward the end of the week. Up in the mountains, unsettled tomorrow. We've got that chance of rain in the afternoon. High of 58 degrees, those overnight lows dipping into the 40s. But Saturday, Sunday, and for the rest of the week, we're going to see a much different story. It's going to see lots of sunshine, and temperatures are going to be pretty nice up there. A few rain clouds on Friday for the mountains, but mm -hmm. other than that, it looks beautiful. It looks nice and sunny. I'll take it. Okay, thank you, Sierra. Of course.